In the U.S., one in every four deaths is related to heart disease, and no one is more aware of that than medical professionals, which is why a major heart problem caught one local medical professional so off guard. Mike Wallingford is the operating room nurse manager at Tampa General Hospital. Well, five years ago today, I ended up in this room. It was a trip to the hospital he didn't expect to make. For some reason, I woke up and uh, didn't feel really too hot. Especially in the middle of the night. Mike had jaw and chest pain, but at 38 years old, a heart attack was the furthest thing from his mind. One feeling scared him enough to make that trip. Um, I had a really hard heartbeat. And to what my doctor said, I threw a, uh, a PVC, which is a premature ventricular contraction, a really, really hard heartbeat. And then I just went flush. And I never felt that before, ever. Mike had a 95% blockage of his left main coronary artery, something doctors call a widow maker. I mean, they don't call it that for nothing. So out of that day, I had about 5% chance of surviving. After getting a stent, Mike was in for some serious cardiac rehab and the start of a new life. The physical side of Mike was reborn that day. This was Mike before. This is Mike after. This past January, I ran my first marathon. It was important for, uh, for me to trust the repair that was done to my heart. Mike also received the Lifestyle Change Award from the American Heart Association for the dramatic changes he's made. And he's not shy about sharing his story of success. Yeah, I don't want to keep this a secret for uh, every 38-year-old out there who feels that, you know, you're probably okay in, in the condition that you're, that you're in. You know, but you may have a few things that, that you're doing that you could quit. Your eating habits, your smoking habits, what, there are, are habits that we can stop. And Mike Wallingford will have a team at this year's Heart Walk. And here at News Channel 8, we are working on raising $100,000 for the cause.